is how you can help us hear about it and then get down there and then you never know you may see yourselves on around the corner um uh, temperatures outside this morning very comfortable where we're in the 60s a little warmer not bad where we've got some 70s river valley back into oklahoma mild start we got upper 80s low 90s expected today we've added about a degree or so to the forecast from where we were yesterday so in terms of sensible weather you're not going to notice a difference outside uh, but we did top out upper 80s yesterday i think we're topping out around 90 today 10 percent chance of a stray shower similar to yesterday can't be ruled out we had that 10 percent chance and we we did have one, two, three little storms fire up. Very brief, a couple sprinkles, uh, parts of Crawford, Sebastian into Sequoia counties. We could see again a stray shower, but the majority of us just going to be staying hot and quiet. Lake forecast going into the first weekend of summer. It's overall good. I'm not going to put the caution on there, but there are a couple things I'll tell you. I'll tell you Saturday is going to be a breezy day for northwest Arkansas and northeast Oklahoma. The lakes are already going to be choppy with all the activity out there, but the winds will add to that too. We're talking about gusts over 20 miles per hour are going to be possible. We really haven't had a big, breezy, windy day here in a while. The winds have been mostly light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's something to watch. And then also, there's going to be the threat. It's going to be low, but an isolated shower or thunderstorm can't be ruled out Saturday, Sunday. Right now, we're running about 20% chance or so. So again, there's going to be a lot of dry weather. But keep that in mind as you're uh, making your plans for the weekend. Rain chances may actually be best the next several days overnight. That's Friday night into Saturday morning. Storms in western Oklahoma are going to make a run for the state line likely weakening. We'll see if they can survive the trip. And then as we go overnight Saturday into Sunday, again, we'll see another cluster of showers and thunderstorms trying to form near a front to the north of us and make a run. And then another chance with that front actually coming in as we go into uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, another chance for some thunderstorms. Heat, though it's going to be the main headlines we're going to be talking about this weekend. Feeling like close to 100 degrees northwest Arkansas, feeling anywhere more like 103 to 106 as we get into the River Valley. Sunday is going to be even muggier. Definitely the muggiest day we have had in a while. We're talking feels like temperatures over 100 degrees for northwest Arkansas and then we'll likely be somewhere between 104 to 108 in the River Valley with those feels like temperatures. We do get a front that comes in uh, Sunday into Monday and that's going to lower temperatures and humidity. Lower 90s Monday, Tuesday, northwest Arkansas. Look at that. We're making a run for the upper 90s ourselves uh, late week and then again Sunday could be the first day we see a triple digit or two right now doesn't look widespread, but I think we've got a shot there this weekend that we get our first 100 degree reading. And if we don't do it Saturday, Sunday, we've got a little bit better shot as some hot weather really builds in going into late next week in the River Valley. Yeah, definitely going to be sweating out there this weekend. Oh, it's a good, yeah. healthy sweat sometimes. Though. You're out there working, you know, and uh, it just kind of it makes you feel good a little yeah. bit, Free right? Sauna. Like you feel like you did something. You did something, yes. Yeah.